There are so many great places for great tacos across the Charleston area that we thought it was time for a special taco trek across the Lowcountry. Writers Connolly Hardaway and Michael Pham have collected more than 20 places where you can find great tacos, particularly in North Charleston and Johns Island. Hello again from the Charleston City Paper, I'm Chloe Hogan. Thank you for joining us. This week in our news coverage, Skylar Baldwin unveils a new resilience plan by the Preservation Society of Charleston to help low country homeowners make their homes stand up better to increasing storms and flooding. State House Bureau Chief Jack O'Toole talked to political and economic experts about how tariffs in an economic plan by GOP presidential contender Donald Trump could hurt South Carolina businesses that make global exports a big part of their business. And Herb Fraser looks at an oral history project at an old Berkeley County church. In our opinion section, we advise you to strap in for what's going to be a frenetic 100 days of presidential campaigning now that President Joe Biden has bowed out of the race and Vice President Kamala Harris is already coming on strong against GOP nominee Trump. In commentary, Andy Brack takes a look at colorful South Carolina nicknames of the past. And be sure you don't miss the new quarterly dish magazine that's out on stands now. It features yummy stories on shrimp, tomatoes, and great summer dining in the suburbs. Just the cover photograph of this summer shrimp ceviche salad is enough to make you salivate. Today's issue of the paper also features the Gullah Geechee and Earth Takeover issue of Surge by guest editors, Low Country Action Committee for the Charleston Climate Coalition. Read about the impacts of climate change on the Gullah Geechee community in this issue. In the food section of the paper this week, Hardaway offers ways to celebrate National IPA Day on August 1st, and Helen Mitternight shares how Southern Smoke is introducing a mental health program for food and beverage workers. And Culture is my story on the sixth annual Charleston Zine Fest on August 4th at the Halsey. In addition to Vincent Harris's look at musician Pierce Alexander's new take on a grunge classic. Pick up a copy of the new issue of the award-winning Charleston City Paper at one of 800 locations in the area you can also visit us online anytime at charlestoncitypaper.com to get more of the latest news and funny cartoons by Steve Stieglin and Robert Ariel, as well as our killer crossword puzzle and our weekly music list. Tune in here every week and make sure to download the Palmetto Network app for this news update from the Charleston City Paper. Thank you for watching. I'm Chloe Hogan.